Saffir Simpson Hurricane Scale, a 1 to 5 rating based on the hurricane's present intensity. This scale is used to give an estimate of the potential property damage and flooding expected along the coast from a hurricane landfall. Wind speed is the determining factor in the scale, as storm surge values are highly dependent on the slope of the continental shelf in the landfall region. Note that all winds are using the US 1 minute average. Category 1 Hurricane Winds 74 to 95 miles per hour, 64 to 82 kt or 119 to 153 km slash hr. Storm surge generally 4 to 5 feet above normal. No real damage to building structures. Damage primarily to unanchored mobile homes, shrubbery, and trees. Some damage to poorly constructed signs. Also, some coastal road flooding and minor pier damage. Hurricanes Allison of 1995 and Danny of 1997 were Category 1 hurricanes at peak intensity. Category 2 Hurricane Winds 96 to 110 miles per hour, 83 to 95 kt or 154 to 177 km slash hr. Storm surge generally 6 to 8 feet above normal. Some roofing material, door, and window damage of buildings. Considerable damage to shrubbery and trees with some trees blown down. Considerable damage to mobile homes, poorly constructed signs, and piers. Coastal and low-lying escape routes flood 2 to 4 hours before arrival of the hurricane center. Small craft in unprotected anchorages break moorings. Hurricane Bonnie of 1998 was a Category 2 hurricane when it hit the North Carolina coast, while Hurricane Georges of 1998 was a Category 2 hurricane when it hit the Florida Keys and the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Category 3 Hurricane Winds 111 to 130 miles per hour, 96 to 113 kt or 178 to 209 km slash hr. Storm surge generally 9 to 12 feet above normal. Some structural damage to small residences and utility buildings with a minor amount of curtain wall failures. Damage to shrubbery and trees with foliage blown off trees and large trees blown down. Mobile homes and poorly constructed signs are destroyed. Low-lying escape routes are cut by rising water 3 to 5 hours before arrival of the center of the hurricane. Flooding near the coast destroys smaller structures with larger structures damaged by battering from floating debris. Terrain continuously lower than 5 feet above mean sea level may be flooded inland 8 miles, 13 kilometers, or more. Evacuation of low-lying residences with several blocks of the shoreline may be required. Hurricanes Roxanne of 1995 and Fran of 1996 were Category 3 hurricanes at landfall on the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico and in North Carolina, respectively. Category 4 Hurricane Winds 131 to 155 miles per hour, 114 to 135 kt or 210 to 249 km slash hr. Storm surge generally 13 to 18 feet above normal. More extensive curtain wall failures with some complete roof structure failures on small residences. Shrubs, trees, and all signs are blown down. Complete destruction of mobile homes. Extensive damage to doors and windows. Low-lying escape routes may be cut by rising water 3 to 5 hours before arrival of the center of the hurricane. Major damage to lower floors of structures near the shore. Terrain lower than 10 feet above sea level may be flooded requiring massive evacuation of residential areas as far inland as 6 miles, 10 kilometers. Hurricane Luis of 1995 was a Category 4 hurricane while moving over the Leeward Islands. Hurricanes Felix and Opal of 1995 also reached Category 4 status at peak intensity. Category 5 Hurricane Winds greater than 155 miles per hour, 135 kt or 249 km slash hr. Storm surge generally greater than 18 feet above normal. Complete roof failure on many residences and industrial buildings. Some complete building failures with small utility buildings blown over or away. All shrubs, trees, and signs blown down. 
complete destruction of mobile homes. Severe and extensive window and door damage. Low-lying escape routes are cut by rising water three to five hours before arrival of the center of the hurricane. Major damage to lower floors of all structures located less than 15 feet above sea level and within 500 yards of the shoreline. Massive evacuation of residential areas on low ground within 5 to 10 miles, 8 to 16 kilometers, of the shoreline may be required. Hurricane Mitch of 1998 was a Category 5 hurricane at peak intensity over the Western Caribbean. Hurricane Gilbert of 1988 was a Category 5 hurricane at peak intensity and is one of the strongest Atlantic tropical cyclones of record.